One of the most deeply moving songs in our songbook is the one that calls Jesus the man of sorrows. What a name for the son of God who came. And we look in John 11 and we find Jesus demonstrating that he was indeed a man of sorrows. His very good and close friend Lazarus had died. Lazarus' sisters, Mary and Martha, who were also very close to Jesus, were very, very upset and in deep grief. The Bible tells us as Jesus approached this scene and as Jesus approached the family and the situation after Lazarus had died and been placed into a tomb, that in verse 33 of John 11, Jesus saw her weeping, talking about Mary, and the Jews who came with her weeping, and he groaned in spirit and was troubled. The word that is used here for groaned in spirit is a word in the original language that is sometimes used to indicate a horse when it snorts and breathes. This isn't just a, a sigh. This is a, a heaving, if you will, that Jesus experienced and that the author John is expressing to us when he came upon this scene of such great sadness and sorrow. The Bible tells us then that Jesus asked, show me where you have laid him. And that Jesus with all this scene of people around him, his close friends weeping, the crowd weeping, knowing that his good friend had died, the Bible records for us, Jesus wept. The response of the crowd to that statement is that they said, see how he loved him. There are many interpretations as to why Jesus wept, and perhaps most of them are worthy of discussion and contemplation. But I am far, far removed from that situation that happened 2,000 years ago. And I think the people who were there that day had a better understanding and a more keen awareness of why Jesus wept. They said he loved him. Jesus was weeping because someone he loved died. Now, when you and I weep, when we have sorrow, when we hurt, when we cry, Jesus feels with us. Jesus hurts with us. Jesus weeps with us. So when you feel sad, when you have genuine sorrow, when you have hurt, just remember, Jesus cares.